Everyone happy? Yes. Awesome. Guys, same style. Coach will give his address and then we'll open the floor to a few questions. Coach Hugo, not quite the result that South Africa was expecting today. Just your opinion in terms of the team's performance here at FNB. Um, there were many feelings that went through my body during the game and now after the game. Um, frustration, anger, unbelief. Um, I didn't believe what I saw the first half, also the second half. But the first half we played very bad. I think we had one chance to score in 90 minutes again against, with all respect, Eswatini. And we were lucky that we played today against a team of that level. Otherwise, it should be a disaster. It should have been a disaster. I didn't recognize my team and we tried to change something during half time and hoping that things should go better. But um, we went on playing 90 minutes on the same low level. It's unbelievable when three months ago you showed that team playing against Morocco. It's unbelievable four months or five months ago you saw that team playing against Liberia. You can't believe your eyes when you see that. There was no passion. We lost nearly every duel. We played far from our opponent. And if we were unlucky, as Martinic would score. That should have been really a disaster. So I said to the boys, look, look in the mirror today and see what went wrong. There are many things who went wrong today. Let's hope that that's a wake-up call for everyone. And that what we did against Morocco, you can forget it already now. It's, it's the past. It's the past. So you can't every time go back to, you see, against Morocco, how good we are. You have to be good every game. Every game. And if you can't win it with good football, you win it with, with power, you win it with fighting spirit. And even that was not in our team today. So again, let's hope that this is a wake-up call. And that we, Tuesday, we know, we know, we know that it was bad and that we take our revenge against that team of uh, Ivory Coast. We were asking for crowd. I think with such a performance, you can't ask for crowd. But should people come doing in stadium to see that and going home frustrated? No, not at all. So again, um, we can, and okay, also I, I want the crowd, but you have to deserve it. You have to, to win the crowd. You don't do it with a performance like we did uh, tonight. Thank you, Coach. Taking questions? And sir, please don't forget to say your name and the media house you represent when you're asking your questions. Thank you very much. Happy luck for the North Coach. You said from Manila from City Press. What do you think makes us as bad as we were? <laughs> if we should know that, um, then we should already done it uh, in half time. So again, for me, it is this is unbelievable that that team that that team plays so bad. I couldn't believe my eyes, really. I couldn't believe my eyes. So if we know really the reason why it was, it should be easy. But we will we will see in the next days together with my staff and also with the players, what we can do on, uh, on a performance like that. And what was really, really the reason why we played today like that. Next 
question? Good evening, colleagues. Uh, good evening, coach. Coach Bongani Mkimukulu here from Teta FM in Davao. Coach, uh, last month, uh, something similar happened where you played against Namibia. You played at home and then went on to win against the Congo 1-0. Can you say not having enough time with the players comes to without to such a result that we had today? Not enough what? Time not having enough players. time with the players. Not enough time with the players. Is that why we have results at the home, right? <sighs> You know, today we played against, and again, with all respect, with Deswantini. I'm very sorry, but I don't want to, to take the excuse, yes, but this one was not there, this one was not there, this one was not there. I'm very sorry. I don't want to take that as an excuse today. Against Congo, we didn't play that bad as today, and we won. And and I think I said it also after the game against Congo. Okay, the performance was not what she has to be, but we won. And that is today what for me is the the, the biggest disappointment. Okay, you play bad, that can happen. Uh, there are no machines. There are players. There are human beings. But then you go for it and make that goal and okay, finished. It was bad, but we won. We didn't do that today. I didn't saw the passion. I didn't saw the fighting spirit with my players. And I told them already. Don't think that I said it to you. They know it. So why? Why? So not today telling yes, but Persitao was not there, Abbas was not there, Moreno was not there. Ah, please, no, stop it. Not today. Not today. Next question. <laughs> Speak a little bit louder, please. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Um, with, with this performance and uh, even the draw that we had, we had uh, last night, how do we as the can get confidence of this team going forward? How? How do we get confidence in Bafana going forward? <laughs> At the other side, how, how, <clears throat> how frustrated and, uh, and disappointed I am today. Um, this is not either a moment um, to talk that everything is uh, bad and will stay bad. This should be very easy now. Nothing is good anymore. And okay, today there was very little good, but I will not do that either. And 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 maybe it's just a wake up call eh, that we need it. And if it, we need that, I think we had it today. So it's still possible, that's really impossible, that the team who played against Liberia and the team who played against Morocco, and even with not a good performance, but winning the team played who played against DRC, that they are showing a performance like today. So, maybe, yeah, it's a bad day, I hope, I hope, but my confidence in the team stays, certainly, and I'm sure, I'm sure that that will come back, but today, really today, I'm, I'm, I've never been so disappointed since I'm here in South Africa, in the team of South Africa, I've never been. Today it was really bad. Second last two questions. Temba and then Blair and then we're wrapping up. Temba Shabala, let's do the sports coach. Um, you've got three months to go before the AFCON starts. Um, how much of this performance takes you back and where to from now with the with the team seeing this performance that you saw tonight? Yeah, I will. We will see that in the in the next week, sir. If, if that is really um, a game who put us 
two, three months back again. Uh, I think, I think it's, yeah, it's just a bad day. Um, and, and a day that, 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 that is made by some things of which I don't want to talk. I will talk with the players about that. But I don't think that it's suddenly um, a lack of quality and a lack of good players. So, again, it's up to them now, next Tuesday, uh, to show already, again, how good we are. And, and I think then, okay, then we don't have to panic. We don't have to panic now, but I think being frustrated and, and, and disappointed and, and sitting here with, with an unbelief that what I saw from my team, I think is totally normal. And I think it's, it's very quiet here in the room. I think that everybody who has a heart for Bafana, Bafana today is very disappointed also. Final question. Mm -hmm. uh, coach, you have to to play one of the best teams in Africa. Um, so what, what do you expect um, to see from, from Nigeria? To see when? when? So, Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, I want to see a revenge. And, and, and I want to see certainly, certainly a team with passion. A team with, 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 with a winning spirit again. And we, we, we show that already. We show that already. So when, when we should have shown that today, we should have won the game without a problem. But there is nothing coming easily. Nothing. Even a game against the Swantini. Every game you have to go for 100%. Every game. Every game. And if the things are not running like you expect, then you have to fight for it. And this is what I, what I missed today in my team. We were, I don't know the word in English, but we were for... Flexibility. Yeah, I think that's the right word. <laughs> don't say that I'm saying that. that is, uh, <laughs> no, but yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. And that I don't want to see. I want to see my team can die. But after we struggle till the last second and the last meter, and I don't have a problem with that. But I have a problem today by seeing that team playing like this. Guys, on that note, just from my side, the team leaves for Ivory Coast 10.45 tomorrow via Angola. Please remember Ivory Coast is two hours behind South Africa, and I'll be updating you guys once we touch down there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.